Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can change the appearance of bullets and numbering that you apply. To do that, select the bulleted or numbered list, and then just choose Format from the menu bar, and then Bullets and Numbering. This will bring up the Bullets and Numbering dialog box. You can click the Bulleted or Numbered tab, which selects bullets or numbers to apply. So let's look at bullets first. If you wanted bullets, you could click on Bulleted, choose a style of bullets, and then simply click OK to apply them. If you wanted to change them, once again make sure the list is selected, choose Format from the menu bar, roll down to Bullets and Numbering. This time choose the one that you would like to modify, and click the Customize button in the lower right corner. In the 2003 and XP versions, that then brings up the Customize Bulleted List dialog box. Here you can select the bullet character to modify, and then click Character to pick a new character from whatever set you would like. So in the symbol box you can use the font drop down in the upper left corner to choose a font. Usually you have uh, symbolic fonts like symbol, webdings, wingdings, any of those symbolic fonts that you'd like to use. Let's say we wanted to go with webdings. Choose the font and then you'll see all the possible bullets you can click on one to select it. Once you have the bullet selected that you'd like, and notice there's quite a few that you can see in this scrollable list, click OK to select that symbol. Next, you can click the Font button back in the Customize Bulleted List dialog box to choose the font of the selected bullet. This brings up the font dialog box. Don't change the selected font as that's how it knows which bullet to select, but you could choose a different font style. You could pick a bigger size or a smaller size. You could even give it a different font color if you'd like. You can also check or uncheck any of the effects that are available for the particular bullet. And when you're ready, simply click OK. And then back in the Customize Bulleted List dialog, click OK. And you'll see it applied. Also notice that you could select the list, and you can also apply picture bullets. Now picture bullets were available in Word 2000, XP, and 2003. So once you'd selected the list, you go to Format, and Bullets and Numbering, choose the one you'd like to modify, and click Customize in the lower right hand corner. So if you're using XP or 2003, after clicking Customize, you would then click Picture. And that'll bring up a list of little teeny tiny clip art, which is basically what these picture bullets are. At that point, you can then scroll through the list of bullets looking for the one you'd like to apply. When you found one you'd like to insert, simply click on it to select it, click OK. Back in the Customize Bulleted List dialog box, click OK again. Now notice that if you were doing the same thing in 2000 or 97, the process for customizing bullets would go a little bit differently for you. You would select the list, you would then choose Format and Bullets and Numbering, so that much is the same. On the Bulleted tab, once again, choose the bullet to modify, and if you wanted to pick a different bullet character, click Customize. That, however, brings up a different Customize Bulleted List dialog. In this case, you would choose the bullet character to modify and click Bullet, which brings up a slightly different version of the Symbol dialog box. 
However, you still use the font drop down to pick which font you would like to look within. And when you click on one, you'll see that it pops up a little bit so you can get a better look at it. Otherwise, they're very hard to see. When you have the one you'd like selected, you click OK. And you can also click Font to go make your font changes. So for example, if you wanted it to be a little bit bigger or a different color. Then click OK. Click OK in the customized bulleted list and you still would have your customized bullets. If you wanted a picture bullet, however, in 2000, you had to go to Format, Bullets and Numbering, and click Picture. That then brings up the Picture Bullet dialog box where you would choose the bullet that you wanted to insert and then click Insert Clip, just like you're inserting a piece of clip art in 2000. And you can see it would then insert the selected clip. 97 didn't quite as have as many options. So if you had a list in 97, you would click and drag over it to select it, go to Format, Bullets and Numbering, choose the bullet character to customize and customize it. There was no uh, picture bullets in the 97. Now you can also change numbering if you'd like. In this case, you would select the bulleted or numbered list, go to Format from the menu bar and choose Bullets and Numbering. This time you'd choose the Numbered tab. And here you could select a numbering style to apply. Also, on the Numbered tab, you could click Customize. Here you could choose a number format using the number style drop-down. You can choose where to start at, so if you didn't want to start at 1, maybe you wanted to pick up numbering that you'd left off with in a previous list, you can choose how you'd start there. Where the number should be positioned, how it should be aligned, and then just click OK. And once again, you can always go back to Format, Bullets and Numbering and change that if you would like. And that's it to modifying your bullets and your numbering. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.